heading to Annapolis on Super Tenere with a passenger. Gas is 274, 279. On average, I think now in this area is like 285. Only 3.3 gallons. I don't understand it. Why? I have like three more gallons. So I have a passenger right now and she might weigh like 110, 150 pounds. And I've ridden with other people before of varying weights, usually up to 130. That's my cutoff for uh, women. But she is pretty light. And the bike, one thing I feel is my suspension, my rear suspension is a little bit off because. I do feel that it's sagging a bit, so I'm probably going to stiff it up in the next uh, stop that we do. You don't hear a lot about how the wind doesn't really affect it too much. On the V-Strom, it was a lighter bike, so it kind of got blown around quite a bit on the highway. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, his beard is blowing in the wind, man. I'm going to follow him. Follow this guy. His wind is actually like blowing forward because of the, the whoa look at this accord. Man, look there's another motorcycle in front of us. There's a lot of cops out on the beltway, so I think I'm gonna get out here. Lots of motorcycles out, that's for sure. Oh what is this? A triumph? I think it must be a Harley or something. It's got a belt drive. It's got like the smallest saddlebags I've ever seen. What do you store in those saddlebags? Look at that, tiny saddlebags. Enough for like a sandwich. And some drinks. Just look at his saddlebags, they're tiny. It's like the smallest saddlebags I've ever seen in a motorcycle. I do wonder what kind of bike it is. It looks kind of cool. It's got the uh, high handlebars for some reason. It's a little chopperish. He's kind of like going pretty fast. Good for him. There's also a lot of uh, speed cameras that are kind of hidden. Oh, the motorcycle is in front of me. I think that's a Harley. Huh. What does he have? He's got a knife. Look at that, he's got a knife on his uh, belt. That motorcycle's got a, a knife. I think it's like a four inch knife, but uh, I think that's the legal requirement. Oh, you see that bicycle? That means somebody died there on the bicycle. That's funny. Like, he's got a knife on his belt. Okay, so that's a speed, he might have gotten a speeding ticket here. That's the speed speeding camera and he went by way too quick oh man I think he got a speeding ticket town of Upper Marlboro we're, we're actually gonna go right through it 279 it's a lot cheaper here than my area so this is an example of a Upper Marlboro style road when you start to go towards the east coast of Maryland and Virginia it starts to get flat but it still doesn't have that beachy look and since we're not really like in the Atlantic side, we're near what's called the Chesapeake. We're basically just following farms. Look at that little dog. So even though we're going to a beach area, well it's not really a beach area, it's more like the bay. But it's called North Beach. And I think the interesting thing is there are still plenty of little back roads like this that you can take there. You don't have to stick to the highway. The cool thing about North Beach is that it used to be a little bit of a like motorcycle playground for a while because you know in DC there's not a lot of beaches you can go to, but it's a little bit more accessible. But now they started to do a pay sort of thing, so you have to pay to 
uh, you know, park everywhere. If you want to go to the beach, you really have to pay for the beach, and I hate that. But the roads around here are decent. They're not great, but and they're really dirty. It's as if like we've gotten a bunch of uh, rain, and it just kind of cleared up everything. But welcome to Shady Side. That's it. You know, this is the town of Shady Side, or at least we're coming up to the center. This guy's beeping his head. To his music. What I like about this guy's uh, bumper sticker says, "All aboard the Trump train." These roads are really annoying. They're very straight, and the problem is it's very windy here. And on these straight roads, that's the thing I need to tell people: cops hang out in these straight roads. So. Let's, oh, it's windy here. Oh, this is like pretty narrow. Very narrow road. See, I like these roads though. It's like, it feels like I'm exploring something. Problem is you can't really go falls out here. Look at that. You see the water? Welcome to the town of Howard. You know, I kind of like this area. It's near the Chesapeake, but it's not expensive, or at least it doesn't seem like very expensive. Looks can be deceiving. And if this car wasn't in front and the road was a little bit cleaner, you could actually go through these corners really well. And they're pretty decent corners. Look at this, they have so much farm. All right, guys, we are coming into the town of North Beach. It gets very woodsy before you get there, but one of the things that annoys me straight up, there's tons of cops in the east coast of Maryland. It's very flat, and the problem is on the weekend, everybody's got the same idea. Let's go to the beach. Let's go look at the bay. Let's go eat some crabs. It's more of a town than a city. You start to see a, lo a lot more brand new houses. I wonder if this area was hit hard with the COVID. It must have been. All right, now directly in front of me, you can start seeing all the restaurants, Hook and Vine, Plaza Mexico restaurant. I've eaten there. Okay. This is probably the better view of the bay that I possibly know and then you can kind of like chill out over here. Now I think you can't really park here but you can just relax a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. This is like a no parking area but because it's like for residents but geez, why not? No outlet but pretty good view. There's something about there's something about like seeing the water that cheers everybody up. Oh, that's a Grom. No, it's a Z125. This is a cool place to, to chillax over here. You just go over here and stop for a little bit. One of the things that I just found is that I guess it's the weight from having a rider or a passenger. I am showing the cords on my rear tire. So, definitely got to make this ride kind of short. Oh, I like this car, the SC430. So, this is the boardwalk of North Beach. It's pretty small. Oh, look at these dogs. So cute. Frozen treats, North Beach, whatever. Antiques. There's another SC430. I like those cars a lot. This 
DSE 430 is a perfect car to go to the beach. It's like luxury, smooth. Right. You know, it doesn't seem like these little tiny houses would be that expensive. And then they have these really large houses with decks up on the top. And that's where the, the rich ones live. I really think that the right lane on a highway like this is much more dangerous so if you can squeeze by to the left it's it might be a little bit of a faster sort of lane speed but I find it to be a little safer uh oh car stopping car stopping uh, look at all this stuff Oh, I don't like that they don't have the uh, shoulder here. They've been removing and working on here. This is kind of dangerous because one of the things that happens is that people go too fast and then they swerve into the shoulder. But I found that's usually a good thing. And that's the reason I like the left lane a little bit more than the, than the right lanes. Because you can kind of like squeeze through. So I'm looking at the cars behind me because I need to make sure that they stop I'm like constantly looking back because I don't want to be get hit by a car what the hell is up with this lane? I picked the wrong lane alright squids time to head out I'm almost home and there's a speed camera up here if you guys are online playing Battlefield 5 you know look me up Motard Squid I've been a uh, trying to get better at that game I'm kind of a loser what type of dog is this <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here the cops won't bother me 